just gave us the one. Huh? He just counted us down and said one. I so I think we might be on. I think we're on. I think we're on. Oh, I think we're on. I think we're on. We can't tell everybody. Huh? We're on. <laughs> he says we're on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and welcome once again to the fun show here at Big TV. Um, we're having fun, which is called Working Without a Monitor tonight. <laughs> and so you may find us staring at each other going, are we on? <laughs> I think we're on. Uh, we might be on. Michael Salen, are we on? I think we're, I'm off. I don't know. Just a little bit. I've been off a lot, yeah. <laughs> I'm Arch O'Reilly, I'm on. And this is Kira Miner right here. And she's definitely on. And this is the, this is the Kira keyboard. That is the Kira keyboard, yes. yes Kira the, keyboard. The, the, the Kira ceremonial keyboard. Thank you. Um, we, um, she keeps thinking that it's a bronze memorial plaque when we used to call it the Kira memorial keyboard. So. You know, memorials um, for people who are dead. Now, just so I don't get in trouble, let me indicate that this is the July 11th edition of The Fun Show. Um, lovely weather much of the rest of the country is in terrible shape floods heat waves hail violence and wow. we've, and we've yeah. had really good we've had really good weather and it's been cold and when we've had protests here everybody's been kumbaya fortunately so uh, um, so far yes well we still have too many people shooting each other uh, yeah. around here um, None I mean, of them seem to be doing it for political I purposes. I should have brought that weapon in. Yeah. Next week I'll bring in my Oh, good, gun. good. We, that's, what, that's what we want to show the world, oh, you know. Yeah, mm. I but, feel uh, like shooting you next week. The okay. interesting thing is... <laughs> Premeditated, huh? The interesting thing is to realize that as distressed and genuinely distressed as we are by these shootings and stuff, they are so much lower than much of the rest of the country. I believe, and I could be wrong, but I think it's, they've had, they've passed 2,000 shootings already in Chicago. Don't, don't, don't forget oh my what, goodness. We, what we had with the explosions at the, at the um, marathon a year, two years ago. A lot of people You just injured. mean the, the yeah, marathon? That's, that's yeah. Hundreds of people injured. That's, injured. Well. And three killed. Yes. Yes. So, so we, we, what I'm getting at is we have our share of stuff. Well, we, we. In Connecticut. We certainly have as much as we want, but we, uh, we don't have as much as uh, some other places. We, yeah, we, we don't I, want it. I'm, I'm bemused by the fact that the National Rifle Association, um, <laughs> every time there's a mass shooting, they come out and say, well, if the victims had had guns, this wouldn't have happened. Always shoot up a movie theater, shoot up a nightclub, shoot up uh, anything, anything. And anything. the National Rifle anything. Association says we don't have enough guns. If the victims had guns, this wouldn't have happened. I'm wondering what they're saying about Dallas. If the police in Dallas only had guns, yeah, well, that's this right. wouldn't that have wouldn't happened. Have happened. Mm. Well, if they had tanks with them, that would have helped. You know. Great big grenades. Well, actually, they did. <laughs> had a tank. Yeah, but not. not they had. They had that stuff. The Defense Department yeah, has been yeah. shifting over to people, like in in um, the events in St. Louis from a couple of years ago. Part of that, you had guys in full body armor with sniper rifles mounted on tanks in the streets of the community. That was. That's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah. So did you hear that by day after tomorrow there'll be a new prime minister of Great Britain? Yeah, yes. yes what's finally. her What's her name? What's her name? A woman. Uh, Anne. Uh, um, I can't. No. Are you sure it's Anne? I don't think it's Anne. Not Anne. No, it's not, not Anne. Anne. No, it's like. It's like Michelle and Tess, uh, Teresa. It's a very short last name. Yeah. I can't. I really. Violet. No, Violet. Nancy, no. Melissa, no. Michelle. <laughs> not Violet. Anyway. It's a woman. Ernestine yes. or something like that. It it. Is Definitely it, not it is, Ernestine. It isn't Margaret Thatcher. No. no. We know that. No. But, uh, but it's interesting. It's going a lot faster than was expected. No, and, that's uh, true. But I, I catch myself now. Is it safe to call it Great Britain anymore? What are you going to call it? England. Well, okay. so, so, so Scotland always, hasn't left yet. 
Oh, oh, and, Wales. And, and Northern uh, Ireland hasn't left yet. Yes. It's, it's very interesting. After mm. all these years, well, this this may be what unites Ireland. It could, it's possible. It's, it's, possible. it's very possible yeah, it's that possible. it will, that the Northern Irish will say, you know, we're we're more interested in economics than we are in religion. <laughs> You know, that's been the basis let's, for everything for them forever, though. Religion. You know, religion, yeah. You know. well, so that's going to be hard to shift ha gears. We've been having this horror, all these this shoot, these shootings in different parts of the country. Violence hasn't stopped elsewhere. Uh, uh, attacks on civilians all around the world can, and the global stuff. Kashmir, South Sudan, Iraq, the Philippines, Yemen, Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Myanmar, which is also Burma, and, and Cambodia. Can Lots you, of shootings in all these can areas. Can you play that old Tom Lear song? <laughs> what? There's rioting in Africa. There's strife in Iran. What nature doesn't do to us will be done by our fellow man. <laughs> you got it. Michael pulling that out. The, well done. The more, things, the more things change, the more oh, they yeah. remain the same. Did you, you know that uh, Mr. Actually, Giuliani lashes out at the, at the, what is it, at the protesters. He says they're, at least the, the crowd of Black Lives Matter, he says, they're anti-American and racist, Giuliani says about them. What do you want? Good. It's nice to know that Giuliani has absolutely no position whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, to speak who, from well, why old, is why is his an old why fair, does what do you have to say an matter? old failed mayor? Yes, he he says never mind. He says besides uh, Black Lives Matter, he says white lives, Hispanic lives, Asian lives, all these lives matter. Also, he yes, says. they do. Right. And and how many how many of them have been unnecessarily gunned down in American streets in the last few years. And he, exactly. also, say, and he also says he favors aggressive policing. All yeah, right well, you know, Giuliani was it's funny. Giuliani's well. great claim to fame, as I remember, was cleaning up Times Square with aggressive policing. Okay. And he probably does believe in aggressive policing. Yeah. But while we talk about these things, and obviously right. there is no excuse in the world for going out and shooting policemen or anybody else. But by the same token, let's not forget that an equal part of the blame belongs to the homicidal policemen that we have in this country well, who have yeah. been given a license to kill who they want, when they want. But you can't blame all of them. No, well, I'm no. blaming the homicidal maniacs yeah, well, in blue. There's some, yes, there are. And it's a small number. Yes, that's true. But they're the ones who are bringing this on. Yep. There's no it's question. Unfortunate. Right. I but mean, I mean, black young black men in American cities aren't intentionally throwing themselves in front of policemen's guns <laughs> to cause problems. True. Clearly. True. Now comes a man named. Oh, I'm sure you could find some Republicans who believe that. Okay. I'm sure a good chunk <laughs> of them do. Uh, and then now comes a man who we both all know and this. Viewers out there know, and his name, he's a Senator Sanders from Vermont, otherwise known as Bernie. 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 Feel the burn. Has he contended yeah. yet? He continues to drag his oh my feet no, no, no. on supporting Conceded, Hillary. Conceded, not tomorrow. contended. He, I'm skeptical of what he'll say tomorrow. So supposedly they think he's going to um, do it tomorrow? The belief is that he's appearing, I think, in Manchester, is it New Hampshire, yeah. tomorrow with Hillary and endorsing Hillary. Oh, okay. So he's not and officially saying I'm no longer. He's just giving her the... He's endorsing his, her. Okay. He's still going to go... With his delegates to the that's all right. He's entitled, okay. but he's endorsing this is his he's concession. endorsing okay. the candidate, yeah. and I mean he had a meeting he had a meeting with the uh, Democrats in Congress. I don't remember if it was days or a week ago, and they booed him. <laughs> really? They booed him and they demanded timetable, timetable, timetable. That was a wake up call. For in him. other words. He went in to bask in the glory one last time, and he got he a real chastisement. Yeah, the funny yeah. thing is, the very same day, Mr. Trump, why do I call him Mr. Donnie Trump? The Donald. The uh, Donald. DT. He met, he met with Republican like Congress people, 
and really? got kicked from one side of the chamber to yeah, the other. Yeah, really. Yeah. And he reacted the way you expect, yeah. like a sixth grade bully. Yes. Well, he he actually, doesn't know how to handle any of that. He threatened this one guy who criticized him, and he says, you keep that up, you're not going to be reelected this year. <laughs> A, a senator. That was a senator. This is you won't be hysterical. You, you cross me, and you, you guys won't take be this seriously, a member of his really. own party. Did, did yeah. you hear about Brian? Well, wait a second. Let me finish that. Okay. The guy looked at him and said, I'm not on the ballot to 2018, Mr. Trump, <laughs> by which time no one will remember your yeah. name. <laughs> nice. He says that. He had he, it he, and he'll say the Trump Tower, the lights go on and off all night or something, he'll tell us. Yeah. So there, there people still, his name goes on everywhere. He, he, a, Except in the closed casinos in Atlantic City. Well, he's got where one the that's first, still open. The, the first thing they took off was his name. Yeah. You can still see the shadows. Yeah. You know how if you have yeah, something on a wall or something, you take sun, it down. The sun bleaches it around. The, the you, bleach you spot is still there. Free. He took all the Trumps off, but you can still see them. Okay. <laughs> There's a guy named Brian Farley, 55 years old, who was the treasurer Where of is the Triborough Youth Soccer Club in Eastern Pennsylvania. Eastern this, Pennsylvania? Yeah, this okay. guy was the treasurer of this of is, this youth isn't, isn't soccer that the home club of Lafayette. This and it, there was hundred and twenty thousand dollars in their treasury. He stole the or embezzled all that money. All of it? All oh. the money. The judge said one of the things that you have to do if you want me to reduce the punishment, you have to stand up in front of the all these kids and publicly say, I stole apologize. Your money. I stole the money. I'm sorry I did it. Blah Bad blah blah. Bad guy. And he did. He had to do it. Okay. It seems like letting him off awfully easy. I'd say so. Uh, I read about. I a, think he should have been uh, made to run a car wash until he'd earned all of it back. <laughs> That, that's uh, you should have been there delivering his punishment. Yes, yes. He should have, have had, you know, an empty lot car wash the way kids raise mm -hmm. money for things they want to do. Yep. He should have been made personally to run a car wash until he earned it all back. On the other yeah. hand, I can't believe a used soccer club had $180,000. $120,000. Oh, 20. With oh, a lot easier. Yeah, with, 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 with hundreds of kids. And, and it is 50% less, yeah. you're quite right. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize this. Maybe you did. Uh, this The mayor of Dallas, who's, who's uh, Michael uh, Rawlings. Yes. He said he, he was very upset with the fact that uh, several of the protesters showed up Thursday. And I wasn't in the press, only in the, I saw it in the New York Times. They showed up with AR-15 automatics, rifles, and shotguns Thursday. Oh, my goodness. Perfectly within the laws of Texas. Texan. He said that. I think they were probably demonstrating the fact that this open carry law in Texas, you don't have to have a license to carry anything. You can openly carry it any time you want. Right. I think they were demonstrating against the Texas open carry law, and I think it was probably effective. The other interesting guy down there is the governor of the fair state of Texas, uh. who showed up, did a fairly good job, said good things. Um, you almost wonder if he's really a Republican for some of the good things he said. Mm. I noticed he was sitting in a wheelchair. It turns out he lost the use of his legs when he was out jogging and a tree fell on him. Oh my talk goodness. About, talk about act of God. Yeah. But he was apparently in somewhere in Denver, Colorado or somewhere when this shooting occurred and he was got third degree burns on his legs and he still came back even the doctors told him you're not allowed to travel. He went back he went to be back. there. Okay. So I loath as I am to say good things about a Republican. He seems to be a good guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the big unrehearsed Thesmian Society presentation for this evening. And I have to tell you a few things about this presentation. This goes way back. This was on the bottom of the vault, uh, down under the pallets. Um, this goes back to approximately 19, shovels 1999 yeah. okay. when we used to have 
a studio with body mics and camera people and props and and sets. <coughs> oh, I cried. And Aww. we mounted <coughs> whole full productions. I will later. So you've got to imagine that we're actually getting up and sitting down and moving around and and literally eating things because that's the way it was originally done. But it's a really very good piece. That's fair. And it is entitled Early Bird, and it takes place in a small, middle-level neighborhood restaurant. Okay. Action. What's the problem? Uh, where would you like me to sit? This table looks empty. Uh, well, I, I wonder if you could take these for me. Uh, now, now what? Why don't you just hang them up, please? Oh, okay. You're new around here, aren't you? Well, <clears throat> I'll have a glass of water and a menu. This ain't no reading room. <coughs> well, I see. Broken uh, water pipe, no water. Um, hmm, that's different. It's on the chalkboard behind the register. <coughs> oh. Well, in that case, I think I'll have a martini, olives, straight up. That ain't on the board. It's a drink. I get it. Like beer and wine? <clears throat> no, it's gin and a touch of dry vermouth and a couple of olives. The Greek salad has <clears throat> olives. All right, in that case, I'll have a glass of Zinfandel. We got house red or white? White goes with fish. Tonight it's meat. <sighs> I'll have a small sirloin, baked potato, a How's side... about a big pork chop? No, no, no. I never eat pork. Too fatty. Our customers love it. Well, what about the steak? That's the early bird dinner. Fine. I'll have it then. It's too early. I'll wait. Sorry, but you got to order. Bring me a carafe of red. A bottle. That ain't food. <sighs> okay. How about some hors d'oeuvres, then? A wise guy, huh? Uh, look, all I need is a few crackers, some cheese, a couple of chicken wings. This ain't the rich, you know. All right, I'll have a tuna fish salad sandwich. That's lunch. So what? Out of tuna. Ham and cheese? No, no, never. Chicken? It's on the special. Swell. Comes with pea soup, side of fries, and slaw. No, no, I have high cholesterol. Oh, is it catching? <laughs> Look, a chicken sandwich, baked potato, and a vegetable, great? Fried chicken and no substitutions, mister. Uh, that's it. I want to speak to the manager. He's very busy. I'll wait. It's unacceptable. Do you hear me? Unacceptable. The chef is out sick. Who cares about the cook? You asked for it, buddy. We got a deadbeat here. I'll fix this SLB. Sir, I resent that. Easy, Harry. No free loaders in here, Mac. I am calling the authorities. I got a hamburger on the fire, and I'll be right back. Oh. What about a hamburger? Uh, well, uh, what kind of a restaurant is this? Fanny's Diner. Where is she? Died three years ago, and her son put Harry in charge. All right, I'll speak to the son. He's in Tibet. <sighs> Did you, uh, did you say turkey burger? Maybe I came on too strong, mister. Give him some Chianti. Sure, Harry. On the house. But, but I'm still hungry. For you, a steak, mashed, and squash. How's that? It's not good <coughs> yet. <clears throat> hey, I'm the cook today, and we give him a break. <sighs> Enjoy. See. Say, this is very good. Uh, bring him some more. And rolls, hot. Well, I'm glad we got that sorted out. Harry can be a bit rough. Is it always like this here? Mostly we get regulars. And, and what if they all wanted a steak? They know what early bird special is every day. Oh, so it's because I'm new. Yes, it's an experience. <laughs> Believe me, for me too. Uh, I hope you like this. Oh. Yeah. Bone appetite. Oh. Yeah, well, could I have a fork? Ah. Mm. <laughs> Wait a second. This is liver and onions. 
Yeah. Well, the steak didn't smell that great. It's because we care. But I never eat this. Never, never. Oh, and cauliflower. Uh, well, it's too much mayo in the coleslaw. Um, of course, of course. Uh, how about scrambled eggs and uh, toast, maybe? Louie will eat it. Breakfast menu? Jeez, I don't know. Sets a bad example for the other guys. But it's only a small meal. We got serious meters, me, uh, eaters in here, Mac. Rules is rules. Aren't you being presumptuous, sir? Watch your mouth, mister. We'll find something you like. <laughs> We're all friends here. And shake. <laughs> Feel better? Ah, you want eggs? Uh, all right, you got it. Yeah, well, I don't really mean to cause trouble, sir. Big Al, he's trouble. Hey, he uh, likes the vino, huh? You know, I haven't had liver in 15 years. Harry's is delish. Right. You know what? I'll try it on your recommendation. Heat the liver, Harry! You don't look well. My feet are killing me. Oh, soak them in hot water with Epsom salts. You're kind of nice. Yes, yes I am. I get off at noon. Maybe you could show me how. Nice and cozy, you two, huh? Ain't what you think, Harry. Let him get his teeth in this boy. Smell heavenly, Harry. Why, there's enough here for both of us. Share a plate only with kids on the floor. Great with ketchup. <laughs> I'm a purist myself, but I like to taste the liver. Plenty of onions, too. Our people love them. Ah, got to run. The, enjoy it. You know, I like that, Harry. It's all business. Sometimes monkey business. Say, this is really great. You're eating the onions. <laughs> nice homey atmosphere. He's like an octopus in the back. Dining out can be fun. Harry thinks I'm the main course. I bet you've worked together for years. He's got a yen for me. Well, you're intellectual and very attractive. <laughs> you can call me Dolores. I feel so relaxed, Dolores. Everybody says that, Mr. Cervantes. My mother liked his writing. They were pen pals. Beautiful. Actually, she read his works. You got nice, clean hands. Yeah, thanks. I'm a loan officer at the bank. Well dressed, playing clothes division. Yeah, detective. Uh, no, Dolores, uh, I'm at the bank. Never make you for the heat. Uh, people need money to tide them over. Listen, I got no use for crooks either. I think we're talking at cross purposes. And your liver's getting cold. The liver rings the bell every time, huh? What about the corned beef hash, egg on top, and beans? Maybe for lunch tomorrow. It's terrific, Cervantes. What's he, a foreigner or something? Now look here, sir, I'm an American. Geez, he don't hardly have any accent. Because <laughs> he's a class act, Harry. You hitting on him, kid? Uh, of course not, sir. She hasn't laid a hand on me. What did I tell you, Harry? I like you, Cervantes. But don't get any ideas. At Cervantes, and how dare you suggest... Stay cool, Harry. Can you believe this pipsqueak? No one insults me, sir. Careful, Harry. I think he's the heat. Undercover, or I could be wrong. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Now I've seen any everything. Will I ever get to finish this liver? Been here six years, and he ain't never backed down. Corned beef hash. Corned beef hash. My mother used to make that. Stay away for a couple weeks. I'm having such a good time. You all right, Dolores? He really likes your cooking, Harry. That's what all the noises was? Well, I guess you don't get many compliments here. No, I don't smoke those either. Your food, your food is, uh, is, uh, super. Nothing fancy. Just filling in for Salvatore. You made Harry's day. Oh, and the fresh baked bread. Took it out of the freezer this morning. <laughs> if you don't mind, Harry, I might just become a regular. 
for the food of Dolores. <laughs> the guy likes fannies. This makes me feel good. Right here, right here, Savutis. And and you're a fine manager, too. <laughs> what, did, what did I say, Dolores? What? <laughs> What's the matter? He, he ain't used to hearing yeah. nice things from a new customer. If I, don't, I don't know if I can cook anymore. <laughs> there you go. It's tears of joy. Now, now, Harry. <laughs> Everybody deserves a little praise now and then. <laughs> oh, what a day it's been. Blackout. Blackout. <laughs> so that was it. Early bird. All right. Early bird. Early we're going to have to do and that one again able, in like six months. If, if you were a, able to imagine um, Chianti and liver and onions and good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Portugal. Yes. I mean, we got like three something. minutes. Portugal beat France for the soccer, the European soccer championship. I met some French That's people today, heard. and they were still despondent. Yes, they should be. Okay. And it was very interesting it's the end of the because world when your team loses, Portugal was theoretically one great player. Two minutes, okay. Really, two minutes? Yeah. Which was Ronaldo, and he was injured in the 27th minute and had to leave, and they still won. And the commentators said this was an ugly game. It was a bad game. It was bad for soccer. And what I wanted to say to those commentators is, you can't win if you can't score and the French couldn't score. Yeah. All right. So okay. let's let's play it out, my friend. All right. <laughs> la, 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 la. Good night, Irene. Good night, everybody from the fun show here at Big TV. Um, we're pleased to say that we will be back next Monday, next week, same time, same station. Tune in and hear from us and enjoy your July. July comes only once a year. <laughs>